listening to uh, or checking out a segment from Morning Joe uh, on msnbc.com. You can check it out for yourself. We'll put a link up as well. Deepak Chopra is talking about and Mike Barnacle, one of the frequent uh, guests on the show, is going to ask him a question. So let's check it out. Expanding your spiritual awareness. Mm -hmm. How does one go about expanding spiritual awareness? Okay, think awareness? of somebody in contracted awareness. What does that mean? Which means their body language is uncomfortable, their eyes are shifty, their face is a skull, they usually have a fist and they're probably constipated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the tight sphincters, that's yeah. contracted yeah. awareness. Tight it comes with fear. Okay. Yeah. Expanded okay. awareness is when you feel connected to the web of existence. You know, I watch. I was watching your program yeah. right now. Uh, I hate to say this, but uh, Mr. Romney's body language, he's not comfortable with his own self. Tight right. sphincter. You see, and... Yeah, he just there. Tight sphincter, Mitt Romney. Uh, so just uh, in everyday plain good old down-home American language, an uptight asshole. So here's a poem on the subject. Anal. Regular folks have assholes and shit. Refined persons have anuses and defecate. That's cause they're superior assholes. No shit. So there we go. There's a poem about what he was saying, contracted awareness, people like Mitt Romney and so forth, not comfortable with themselves. Okay, so now let's continue on with what they got there. And that's contracted awareness. Now, uh, in my view... Right, and, and that's okay. what Mika was, Mika was saying. She couldn't quite figure out exactly what it was, but she said but she, she felt read like he was body language, you know, and the child can read that. The movie. Right, so there's contracted awareness, then he goes on to talk about expanded awareness, okay? Now, expanded awareness means when you have love and compassion. Those are key. Regardless what you are, wherever you go, love and compassion, they are key to all religions. And they talk about religion being the problem. Lack of religion is the problem. 